Hey guys, welcome back. I thought I'd uh, share something different again today, kind of like uh, the new things I'm doing here with the channel, and I'd show uh, replacing my uh, long shoes that I've been using here for really for this past year. Uh, you can see here these things are beat to death. Real basic. Got a pair of Fila tennis shoes. You can imagine what they look like uh, when they first started. They were they were brown. I picked brown because again I figured it wouldn't show the dirt or the grass stains uh, as, as bad as a regular pair of white tennis shoes or a colored pair of shoes. But these for the most part pick these just one because they're comfortable, lightweight tennis shoes and uh, Number one, they're cheap too. I think I got them at Costco for like 25 bucks maybe. Uh, really kind of did the job, but you can see here, falling apart. Again, the uh, front uh, rubber, again, the sole is coming off. So it was time to get a new pair. So I wasn't sure what to get. I was kind of looking online to see a lot of the guys getting some Cujo Yardwear boots. Uh, looked at some other uh, Timberland boots, some other yard work boots, but actually was pretty surprised how expensive they are. Uh, work boots, you know, running 150 bucks. Some of them, uh, again, were up to almost $200 per pair of boots. Or again, uh, you know, some comfortable work shoes, again, to get the job done. I've seen some of those ads on Facebook for indestructible shoes, uh, made in China, um, again, kind of sketchy on those reviews. A lot of them said they were made of rubber and again, real smelly because they're made out, made out of rubber, man-made materials. So, just kind of wondering what I'm gonna do. Am I gonna go with another pair of cheapies or should I upgrade a little bit? I noticed with these tennis shoes, again, get a lot of debris or again, clippings that uh, fall in on the side here just because it's a low, low cut. So I was thinking I wanted to get a high cut or a mid cut. And again, something again, it's not going to show stains. Also wanted to get something lightweight and comfortable. So I was kind of thinking, you know, what, which way am I going to go? Am I going to go spend 150 bucks? Pujo boots look pretty nice. Some of those Timberlands look pretty nice. So kind of went online, shopped around, finally made a decision. So let's check them out. So this is it. That's what I end up getting. I got a pair of these uh, Columbia Wayfinders, and they're a mid-rise. Take a look here. Kind of a high top. Really, in the form of a, sort of in between a work boot and a tennis shoe is really what it's kind of geared toward. Ended up picking these up. I actually got these on uh, Macy's website and picked these up for a couple reasons. One, I figured they're a kind of a good in-between for again a work boot, which could be a little heavy, and again, pretty expensive. And then two, got these because again they're kind of in between, like a tennis shoe and a work boot. Got the high top, which is great. And check this out. It's also got what they call out dry. They're waterproof on the outside, which I thought would be key. Uh, again, for when it's uh, been raining, it's been raining a lot here in Florida over the last six weeks, eight weeks. So keep my feet nice and dry. And again, because it's a high top, keep all the debris from falling in there. I thought it would be perfect. And obviously, pick the color green too. Uh, again, mown grass. Again, the tennis shoes get dirty real quick. I figured this would be a great way to keep them looking fresh and new. And figured I'd show these share these with you guys what I picked these up for I think there were $72 online they're on sale Macy's.com uh, again Columbia's these are uh, called the Wayfinder mid out dry so I figure I'm gonna start working these starting today I'll do a recap maybe about a month or so and let you know how they're working but I uh, thought I'd share these with you if you're looking for a nice pair of uh, work shoes again doing lawn care just mowing lawns, 
you know what, this might be the one to go for. As a matter of fact, I got a pair for my son as well. And uh, he's been using them probably the last, uh, I'm gonna say three weeks. I just got these in the mail, I figured I'd get them as well, but let me show them to you. Here's his pair right here. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta say, man, for three weeks, they don't look too bad. Again, cut grass. Bottom here is getting a little green, but that's okay. The rest of it still looks pretty good. And again, with all the rain, I was asking him, you know, how his feet's been doing. He said his feet's been staying nice and dry again because they're waterproof. Obviously, you're not going to go jumping in puddles or what, but certainly when you got dew on the grass or it's misting, raining a little bit, he said these have been working great. So, at any rate, thought I'd share them with you. Something different for the vlog here. Something for Lightning Lawn Service. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you do, again, hit the like, hit the subscribe, drop a comment below. And again, I'll give you guys a recap in a couple weeks, let you know how these are working. I'm going to wear these today. I got like four lawns I got to do. We'll see how they work. We'll catch you next time.